shoot it, Jacoby. Ready whenever you are. gave us that last time and that's that guy up and down like he's on a rubber band. We didn't really wait 134. And a couple of pounds for breakfast the way those guys always eat. That brings it up to 136. Even it up you get the spring out of it. We want this one's next boat. All right. Things out of the window. Mr. Edward, that gallant. I'd expect us to do any work. Good out there, yelling. I'll get the sherry back to you, Tramps. <laughs> Ain't much respect for the press around here. How's the wife, Anthony? Better? Worse. We had to hang around all day and all night waiting for him to hang that cuckoo. Hard work, all right. Crank it for a dime. Hey, Schwartz, what do you do? Why me? What time is it anyway? 4.30. Hey, me too. These cars are like wash rags. Let's chip in and get a new deck. These are good enough for me. I'm 80 cents out already. Paper 1059. Hey, take this phone. Ernie, you ain't doing anything. Uh, you guys crippled or something? Criminal court building, press room. Uh, just a minute, please. Hello, Sarge. The Q. Yeah, I phoned. Anything doing? All right. Thank you, Sarge. Two turns. Say, Ernie, why don't you take your instrument into the library and play it? Hello. Is this the home of Mrs. F.C. Margolis? This is Mr. McHugh with the City News Bureau. Is it true, madam, that you were the victim of a peeping tom? Ask her if she's worth keeping at. Oh, no, madam, that ain't the right attitude to take. All we want is the facts. Tell her I can run up for an hour. Tell her to come over here. We'd like to reenact the crime. Just a minute, madam. Is it true, Mrs. Margolis, that you took the part of Lady Godiva for charity seven years ago? Hello. She cut off. What, her hair? Tell her I'll be right over. Yep. No, he'll be jumping it. Oh. Oh, hello, Mr. Byrne. No, Hilly hasn't shown up yet. Yeah, sure, Mr. Byrne. Hello, Van Singer. I just had an interview with Williams. Over in that death house. That jail. That jail is reeking with germs. Oh, believe me, the Board of Health is going to hear about the conditions over there through my paper. It's amazing to me that those prisoners can live long enough to get home. What's the idea, Mac? Say, is that the only telephone in this place? The only one but a mouthpiece. How many times have I got to send you fellas to let my phone alone? You want to talk to a mouthpiece? Go and buy one, like I did. Whitney, 9,000. The germs of the mouth are the most contagious. Oh, shut up, Mr. Reed. Whitney, 9,000. What is this, a hospital? Yeah, Roy, how's your simple coming along? Hello, Sarge. McHugh. Anything going? Say. You don't have to use my desk for a garbage can, either. Say, how'd you like to stop stinking up this place with those antiseptics? Yeah, anything new on the hanging, Ben Sands? My deal, ain't it? Hey, it's all night. What is it? Question before the house. Gentleman wants to know if there's anything new on the hanging. Oh, nothing special. Did you talk to the sheriff? Why don't you get your own news? Somebody ought to see the sheriff. Criminal court press room. No, here they come to me. Oh, yes, Mr. Burns. What? I know, Mr. Burns. Uh, yes, Mr. Burns. Goodbye, Mr. Burns. Walter Burns for Hildy again. Something must have happened. I'll tell you what's happened. Hildy's quit. Oh, nurse. 
You know, Hildy's a fixture on the morning post. Yeah, he goes with the woodwork. Well, he told me he was going to quit. Say, this wall of burns wouldn't let him quit. He'll find a way to keep him here somehow. Remember what he did to Fenton when he wanted to go to Hollywood? <laughs> Got him into a fight and had him thrown into jail for assault and battery. <laughs> you mean a real right? Well, if he ain't quit, why ain't he here covering the hangar? I wish I could quit. Ready? Nurse Isabel Zobo. Z for zebra, O for onion, B for baptize, E for anything else, or, uh, L for, uh... Oh, don't tell him anybody. L for Listerine. Swedish masseuse, with rooms at 608 Inverness Avenue. Well, this dame was arrested tonight on complaint of a lot of angry wives. They claim she's been treating their husbands with electricity at a dollar a time. Well, the Swedish kid is in again. I understand she massages them, too. Well, anyway, she's arrested. And the station house is full of her patients claiming she's innocent. Half the stock exchange is there, too, trying to provide bail. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Bain, 6800. Say, Ernie, why don't you take up electricity instead of that noise? Oh, it's got no future. Press? No, Mr. Burns. Hildy Johnson is. I'm not lying, Mr. Burns. Walter acting like he'd burst a blood vessel. You playing golf, sir? No. Then I'll have to put another man on the job. In your hat, Duffy. I'm after that bunch of lily-livered, pockmarked, peanut politicians who think they're running this town. And Hildy Johnson's the only man on the staff I can trust tonight. We've got to have a... Uh, We've got to have Johnson. But you haven't got it. He's on the wagon. I ain't. You remember me? I was here last night with Mr. Bensley. Mr. Bensley's still here. Hey, hey baby. Oh, be done. You've seen the 